I welcome you once again to video lecture. Now today the topic of discussion will be aromatic compounds, particularly benzene and its derivative. I'm Dr. Nirpam Das, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Science, Asham University, Pilcher. Now let us see the learning outcomes. So the learners will be able to differentiate between the various aromatic, anti-aromatic, non-aromatic compounds. They will learn how to derive the structure of benzene. Although this video will be a part of the next video wherein I will explain the molecular orbital structure of benzene. Now what are aromatic compounds? Aromatic compounds they are also known as arenes and they are cyclic planar compounds or molecules having conjugated double bonds. They have pi delocalized electrons and they follow Hucker rule. Now let us take some example of aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic compound. I have taken 12 molecules. Now you tell me which are the molecules that are aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic. Now the first one, the first one is benzene and it is aromatic. Why it is aromatic? Because it follows all the rules laid down under for a compound to be aromatic. Is having sp2 hybridized carbon atom, all the six carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. It is having conjugated double bonds and it is cyclic, it is planar molecule. Now, this is derivative of benzene and it follows Huckel's rule. It is toluene, it is also aromatic. It is xylene, this compound is also aromatic. It is xylidine, 2 3 xylidine, it is also aromatic. Why these compounds are aromatic? Because it follows 4n plus 2 pi electron of the ring. So how many pi electron for benzene? 1, 2. And this carbon is not considered inside the ring. So it is sp3 but it is not part of the ring. So we will not consider this carbon. Only the 6 carbon atom of the ring. How many pi electron? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if it is 6, n is 1. So n can be any natural number 0. It may be 1. It may Two, it may be three. For benzene, n is one. And how many pi electron? Six pi electron. All this compound will have n equal to one. Now let us see this molecule. It is having how many pi electron? One, two, three, four. So it follows four n rule. This rule for anti-aromatic four n equal to one. So one it is a natural number. N can be one. It is not anti-aerobatic because it is having sp3 hybridized carbon atom and the molecule is not planar. Same for this one because of the presence of sp3 hybridized carbon atom, the molecule is not planar even though it is going as anti-aerobatic, it is not anti-aerobatic, it is non-aerobatic compound. For this particular molecule, it is anti-aerobatic. How? 4n equal to 4, all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized carbon atom. Let us see this molecule. This cyclic carbocation. So aromatic compound may be three member, maybe four member, maybe five member. Mostly commonly they are six member ring, seven member ring, eight member ring. So this particular molecule it is having two pi electron and since this carbon atom is bonded to three other atom is a hydrogen. Three other atom, it is sp2 hybridized carbon atom as per BSC pair, valence cell electron repulsion theory, it is sp2. Now this is sp2, the three carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized carbon atom. Let us see this 4n equal to 4n plus 2. Let us first see whether it gets any natural number for 4n plus 2 equal to how many? 2. So n will be 0. So it follows Huckel's rule 4n plus 2 pi electron n is 0 here you see this n is 0 so it is aromatic compound. Now if you consider this molecule it is sp2 it is sp2 and this as I have already discussed this is sp2 this is sp3 but here is a special case in case of ring structure it is become the part of the ring and it behaves as sp2 because there is resonance in the structure. So now you will consider this as pi electron. 
1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 pi letter means 4n equal to this following anti aromatic. 4n equal to 4n equal to 1. Let us see for this molecule how many pi letter 1, 2, 3, 4. All are sp2. This is also sp2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 means 4n plus 2 equal to n equal to 1. So it is aromatic compound. And benzene. Let us see this molecule. You try to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4. It is sp2. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is anti aromatic. For this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All are sp2. Hybridized carbon atom. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4n equal to plus 2 equal to 6, n equal to 1. So it is aromatic. So which are the molecules aromatic? This molecule is aromatic. First row is aromatic. Let us see the second row. This is non aromatic. This is non aromatic. This is anti aromatic. This was aromatic. This is anti aromatic. This is aromatic. This is anti aromatic. And this is aromatic. Now let us try to derive the structure of benzene. Although it will be a partial derivation, I will come up with a new video giving the orbital structure treatment for the structure of benzene. Molecular formula were determined by determining the percentage composition of individual element and, and the empirical formula is derived for benzene it is C6A6 and molecular weight is determined accordingly it is 78.11 gram per mole. So evidence of cyclic nature, first one is substitution of benzene. Benzene being cyclic, if you react it or if you react benzene with bromine and ferric bromide, it gives monobromo derivative. Benzene gives benzene aromatic compounds gives electrophilic substitution reaction. This indicate this reaction. This reaction indicates all the carbon atom in benzene are similar. If it would have been different, then you would have got some isomeric product. But since you are getting monobromo derivative, so that means it suggests that all the carbon atoms are similar. But it doesn't give any evidence of the cyclic nature. Let us see this example. This reaction. If you react benzene with hydrogen gas and brandy nickel, you will get cyclohexane. If you go retrospectively now, since it is cyclic, that's why there is no cy cyclization reaction in presence of hydrogen gas. There is no cyclization reaction. This indicate that if you are getting a product cyclohexane, that indicate that benzene is a cyclic molecule. Next point: stretch chain structure possible in benzene. Why stretch chain structure impossible in benzene? If you consider two reaction, one is addition of bromine, another is addition of water in presence of acid for linear chain alkenes or alkynes. You will get alcohol if water is added to alkenes. You will get vicinal dibromine if you add bromine in carbon tetrachloride with alkene. But for benzene, you will not get, it does not give any such reaction. That indicates that it is not having any straight chain structure like alkenes or alkynes. Next one is KQ structure of benzene. KQ was the pioneer for giving the molecular structure theory for any compound. He was a German biochemist and he tried to derive the structure of benzene. And based on his structure, the actual structure of benzene was derived. Now one day KQ was thinking about the structure of benzene. What could be the structure? He was having the molecular formula and he was thinking about the 6 carbon atom. So while thinking, he dozed off and he went to a somnolent state. He was sleeping that time and in his dream, he had seen a vision of the elements that is carbon wriggling and dancing and simultaneously they form a tubular structure and the tube become a snake and it was eating its own tail. He visualized the structure of benzene to be two isomer and he named it 135 cyclohex triene. One is the structure and there is a rapid interchange between the other structure where the position of the double bond if it is here or the position of double bond is here but he didn't give the resonance theory.
accordingly this double bonds undergoes rapid interchange that's because from the name itself we can infer that the position of the double bond are fixed so this was the pioneer work of kq and although it opened up a new avenue for subsequently determining the structure of benzene but there are objection against kq structure it would be not nice to say objection we can euphemistically say it limitations of kq structure what are the limitation non existence of two ortho isomer if kq structure would have been correct then if you substitute benzene then two bromine atom substituted at the c double bond c other possibility is that two bromine atom would have been substituted at the c single bond c so after reaction with bromine you would have got possibility of forming these two ortho isomer but actually only one diortho isomer is possible and that too if you react benzene if you react benzene with bromine and ferric bromide you will get bromobenzene and after that if you further react with another mole of bromine in ferric bromide you will get one ortho dibromobenzene so one ortho dibromobenzene is because bromine is ortho director so you will get ortho dibromobenzene so this was one limitation so since there is no existence of two ortho isomer like this the dibromo ortho isomer objection was against the kekul structure next is benzene did not give addition reaction kekul told there since if you see the structure kekul put forward this benzene is having conjugated double bond and we can infer that the double bond are fixed the structure is 135 cyclohex triene so if benzene is having conjugated double bond and why it is not giving addition reaction like an alkene so this was another limitation finally the resonance structure of benzene was derived and the actual structure of benzene is nothing but the combination of this two subsequent structure two structure that are called canonical form and the final structure is called resonance hybrid so in the next video i'll be discussing about the molecular orbital theory mot of benzene structure i hope you have understood now let us come to the reflection spoke and the following compounds aromatic i given you four compounds you pause the video think write it down and then again play the video I hope you have understood some aspects of aromatic compounds. Thank you once again.